we represent a lot of clients who are charged with criminal harassment. And I want to talk to you today about how to get a criminal harassment charge dropped. So first of all, what's criminal harassment? Well, the definition in the criminal code is, you know, repeatedly stalking someone, following them from place to place, or repeated communications with them, causing them reasonable fear, subjective fear that's reasonable. And obviously, if you're stalking someone and continually calling them, even if there's not threats made, eventually that person has fear, right? Uh, another form of it is actually watching their dwelling house. You're sitting out on the curb day after day watching their dwelling house. So how do we get this type of charge dropped? Well, first of all, it's not easy, but there are situations where the harassment's on a more minor scale. For example, in the context of a, a breakup, sometimes people go a bit crazy and they keep communicating, but at some point it becomes fearful for the other party, of course. Now, you know, sometimes the Crown in that type of situation where it's kind of understandable, let's face it, the behavior's not when I'm not condoning the behavior, but in the context of a bitter breakup, sometimes a, a husband or a wife making repeated phone calls over the course of a few days, it, it happens, let's face it. So in our criminal justice system, we'll sometimes give a break to that type of person. They've never been in trouble before. They have no criminal record. And we might, the Crown, that is, might agree through extensive negotiation to divert their charge. In other words, they're going to agree to what's called the Direct Accountability Program, where they might do some community service, they might do a letter of apology, uh, things of this nature to to you know show their their not condoning their conduct, but showing they're apologetic and they made made amends. Because why would we saddle a person with a, a record in this situation who made you know fifteen phone calls in the in the context of a breakup of a relationship? I mean, is it really necessary? But then, of course. And that's a great result, obviously, getting a charge dropped. That's what people want. We represent a lot of people in these type of charges. But then, of course, criminal harassment can become quite serious. It can become, whoa, you know, to the point where direct accounting public accountability program is not feasible. Now, on the direct accountability program, they'll usually do a peace bond to keep the peace and be of good behavior where you don't contact the victim for a year and that's not a criminal record though, so it's not going to show up on a criminal record check. So what if we have one of these more serious cases uh, where the Crown's not willing to do that? Well, the next step is we're going to try to negotiate what's called a conditional discharge, which means you're discharged. In other words, you don't receive a conviction or a criminal record on terms of probation. The probation terms are going to be not to communicate or contact with the, with the victim for say a year and to report to a probation officer. Maybe there's a community service involvement. So both of those would be great results, of course, there's no question. The problem with criminal harassment, though, it's a slippery slope. Once we get beyond those more minor, less aggravated situations, you're, you can often be facing a jail term and we'll counsel clients, look, uh, this is pretty serious. We're going to be lucky. It's going to be a great result if we uh, avoid a jail term for you. And this is, of course, assuming the person's guilty. We represent a lot of people who, who profess their innocence and will go to trial, and we often win those type of cases. So the bottom line with criminal harassment, it's a range of conduct from really minor, just barely crosses the edge where we can get a great result and avoid a record or, or even a little bit more along the, um, along the lines where a little bit more serious and the, the Crown will play ball and give us a good result up to a very serious where a person could be facing months in jail for just, you know, terrible aggravated conduct causing a person cowering in their home. So there, there you have it. That's how we're able to often... Uh, get more minor charges of criminal harassment dropped or the next step up conditional discharge where we at least avoid a criminal record and the person can get on with their life. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.